Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Charm, season number two, episode number three. Careful what you wish for. The episode directed by Gina Lamar. In this episode here, you have the girls all on separate little missions. Now you have um, um, Mel. And she's working alongside Harry to trying to find a, a way to pretty much um, read the, the, the books, to read the, 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 the Book of Shadows and all that stuff like that. Because she's she having a hard time translating and she doesn't understand all that stuff. And she, and she needs to get help. And so they go through the astral plane with Harry. The people try to get, the, try to get something to help them um, get the answers that they need. Then you have Maggie, who's trying to, she's trying, trying to get um, 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 a promotion in her new job as manager. But at the same, so because well, so she had more more access to the to the key cards. We give her the key cards, so she gave access to to the to, to the um to the room that they all got to go into. So she's like their way in without, without looking without, without things looking weird. And then you have then she also competing with Jordan for the same position because he needs he needs a job for, for other reasons. She needs a job to help try to help save the world. He needs a job to, to live. Yeah. And then you have what's going on with Macy. She goes on her own mission and to try to save a witch from, 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 from a demon. Now, the thing about this, though, is the girls aren't working together. Not really. Which I don't like. Like, in the, in the original, every time a, a demon showed up or something happened, the girls came together. They may, they may argue and fight between one another. That, that did happen. But... When push came to shove, they didn't do their own separate missions. They were like this: oh, if a demon attacked one of them, they would go back to the to one to the girls, and with the power of three, they work to go to the book of shadows. They find the answers they need, and then they take they take down the the, the, the threat. But these girls are like all, all over the place because you got um you got you got Maggie, I mean you got Macy, who pretty much thinks she's the only one who could do anything. She has she hasn't taken she hasn't been sleeping. She hasn't been taking care of herself. Because she's the only person who has, actually still has powers, even though even though they're demonic. She thinks she's the only person who, who can actually fight or do anything. Instead of relying on her sisters for help and coming and, and taking and, and also taking care of herself, she she thinks she's got to do it all by herself, do it on her own. Which I just I I, I hate that I hate, I hate that part about um about, about Macy. Uh, she seems to have, have this tendency to think she's like like almost in a way she's like, almost thinks she's like. She thinks she's better than them, than her, than her sisters. Like for, the messed up part is, she didn't grow up with them. So, so since so they don't really have that instant connection, sisterly bond. They don't have that because even though they're they're starting to get that way, they're starting to get closer. But Macy grew up on her, on her own. She's the her only child. She did everything by herself, and so now she starts she keeps now she got it in her head. She got to do it all by herself. And the thing is, though, she got her sisters there who want to support her, but she keeps pushing them away, saying, "I'm the one who got powers. I'm the person who got powers. So I'm the only person who can do it." I just, oh, what, what, no, no, no. And, and and because she does this, that she she keeps, she keeps messing up, but she never seems to like learn from it. That she's supposed to be so smart, but at the same time, she keeps doing the same thing over and over again. And in this episode here, she goes to try to save a a, a girl who's, who's who needs help. But the thing is, though, she may be the threat. They're trying to protect themselves from. And then you have um, Mel, even though she's with Harry, that's, that's okay. But at the same time, they brought in a civilian into their mess, which is not good. Because now you have Katrina, who's slowly going insane because of, of them. It's like they're screwing over the thing though. They're screwing over everybody else to help out their cause, which is so messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they want to save witches and try to save the magic in the world, but at the same time, what about the, the, the civilians who got to live in this world too? You can't screw them over. I mean, you got um. So Mel and Harry got the tools they need to, to read the, the books and stuff like that, but at the same time, you got Katrina. Now she's seeing worms, and she might think she's going insane all because of what they did. That's messed up. And then you have Maggie. I get what she's trying to do. I mean, she, she they need the key cards so they get access to the to, to the hidden secret chamber. But at the same time, she screws over Jordan because he needs the he needs the job to, he needs the job for the for the money so he can survive. So like this, yay! Like who are they? I are they really are they are they really the heroes? I don't know. The whole point is to save people. They're hurting people to save a, 
the same witches, but everybody else is screwing over? I don't know. Something about, it just seemed weird. I just, okay. I, I guess I, I get the whole title because it's careful what you witch for. Yeah. Because, yeah. Mel and Harry got what they needed to, to read the books. But now they're screwed over um, Katrina. Maggie used magic to, to pretty much get, to get that promotion. And she got it. Now they're, now they're access to the room now. But at the same time, that she screwed over Jordan. Macy, and her, and her quest to, to prove everybody she could do everything by herself, killed, did she did kill a demon, but at the same time, she probably let more evil into, into the family. So, I don't know if this is a win or a loss. I feel like both. I don't know what this is. I can't even celebrate this. I, I just, because at the same time, like, well, I guess so. I mean, yay, you, you got your goal, I guess. And the messed up part is the only person who has to feel guilty about this is um is is Maggie because she's seen she seen what she her what her magic had did to people help her get the, get the, the get up promotion something she's not something she's not probably even qualified for oh so messed up what can you do see I, I hate the fact that the, the magical chamber is inside this um inside this place anyway why is it there why is it not inside some some remote place when when nobody is. Instead of them having to interact with all these other people. Because the thing is, though, you're, you're, there's, there's around civilians who don't really handle magic at all and don't really defend themselves. They are just lambs to the slaughter. Them, them being there is just bringing danger there. A demon just showed up in this episode. It's not going to be the last one. People want to die in this place. And it's all their fault. Also, they can save the world. I just, okay, I guess. Oh, well. I don't know how to feel about this one. It's just, it's just weird. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Charm. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it, too. So, give my channel a like. Hit the thumbs up. Shaboop. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dream in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.